One thing that really annoys me is when women use men, but the way that I see it, these men are setting themselves up to be suckers. They'll do stuff like, I had a roommate years ago and he would hang out with this chick. I'm gonna call her a chick. She was a mother. Um, she was dating a guy who wasn't the father and the guy would be gone a lot. And my friend, who was her age, these people were all in their 20s, would go over there whenever she wanted to give her company and be a shoulder to cry on, thinking that one day he would, you know, get her and she would realize what a nice guy he was, not a jerk like her boyfriend. And I kept thinking, why are you going over there to talk to her? She obviously isn't into you. She never, I'm like, did you get laid? Nope. She didn't even kiss him. She was in love with her boyfriend. And I'm like, why are you going over there? She obviously is not interested in you. So guys, red flag number one, she's talking about other men on the date. If she's talking about other men, there's your red flag. Don't even waste your time. Red flag number two, you're on a date with her and a woman who's into you, first of all, a woman who's into you and available doesn't have a boyfriend, okay? She has, she's single. Number two, when she's with you, she's actually interested in you. She's really hanging on your every word. She's not on her phone and looking around the room at the other guys. Uh, red flag number three, she only talks about herself. Um, she is a valid attention seeker. She only talks about herself. She has her Instagram. She's always taking photos. Um, she might be into her looks, overly concerned with her looks in the way she dresses. Now, I know some men like a high maintenance woman, but a lot of these women are very superficial and they're very concerned with their makeup, their hair, their looks, their jewelry, their next photo shoot, like Kim Kardashian or JLo, who takes a stylist and a whole entourage on her honeymoon. How can she be present with her fiance when it's all about her looks and getting primped and looking good? You know, the plastic surgery and the breast implants and an obsession with her looks is a red flag for a woman who would make a good partner. But I digress because that isn't using you. A woman who's, a woman who's using you is gonna ask you to buy her things all the time and she's not willing to pay you should expect, even if you pay for the first or second dates, that the woman will pay for the third date. That's what you should expect. And here's another thing. If you're interested in dating a woman, here's a red flag that she's not into you. You say stuff like, hey, I love texting you. I would love to hear your voice. See if she's free for a phone call. A woman who's into you is going to jump at the chance to get on a phone call with you. But if she's just using you to talk to or for your money, she's going to be like, fuck, this guy wants to talk to me. Oh, shit. And she's going to have all kinds of excuses and she's not going to get back to you. Next tip. I forgot the number. There, I think the reason that some men don't know if a woman is into them is because they haven't experienced in childhood the sheer pleasure and joy on their mother's face when he, the, when the little boy comes home from school or when mommy sees him. I'm so happy to see you. I'm so happy you were born. I'm so happy to see you. A woman who's into you is going to be so happy when she sees you. It's going to show in her face like she's going to be smiling and looking at you. She's going to be happy to see you. And she's going to want to talk to you and she's going to reply to your texts. And above all, she's not talking about other guys and she is going to want to spend time with you. That does involve no money. See, I weed men out. I can tell on the first date if a guy just wants sex or he wants a relationship because he's the sex guy is going to talk about sex the relationship guy is not going to talk about sex he's going to take me out and he's interested in me that's like a basic one but i would pick up on other things too the same with the woman a woman who's just using you is going to just talk endlessly to get your attention 
and she's going to ask her to buy you things and she's going to want you to buy expensive things expensive dinners so i wouldn't spend a lot on the first few dates i would keep it kind of modest because unless you're in your 50s and you already have money spend according to your means so that way if it doesn't go anywhere you have no regrets i would expect her to pay for the third date or say you go to dinner say you go to a movie and then you pay the ticket she pays the popcorn if she doesn't offer to pay there's your red flag right there a woman who ex who is a freeloader she's a freeloader now guys you have to know one thing about women unlike men a lot of women love to spend money on their looks six hundred dollar purses eight hundred dollar shoes um clothes so if you notice a woman with expensive clothes my, you might want to find out if she has a lot of debt because if you marry her you're stuck with her spending and her debt but that's another one that's not about women using you you know um i know this lady that would have these guys would just drive for an hour or so uh just to get a chance to see her and they would like bring her food or take her to dinner and then they'd go home. She would never even do anything or kiss them. And I'd be like, why is he going all the way over there? She's obviously not interested in him. So I don't know. I always just thought about it from a, the woman's point of view because I would never do that. And ladies, if you're watching this, it's so important to like know how you feel and don't lead guys on. If a guy... To me, I feel uncomfortable. If a guy is into me and I'm not into him, I send out a lot of push away signals. I minimize the eye contact. I walk away quickly. I tell him I'm not interested. I don't want to lead people on. It makes me uncomfortable to know that someone wants something from me that I don't want to give them. But I guess some women think, well, he wants to do that. I'll let him, you know, he's a free agent. You can always just ask the woman, what are your intentions? Or, you know, I like seeing you and see what she says. You've got to be able to read people's emotions and see if they're excited about you. I think that's a big one. And, um, you know, men are not the only ones that chase people they can't have. Women do it too. I think it's so important that we really figure out whether something is reciprocal or whether we're just like living in a fantasy world because... Maybe we don't know what real intimacy would feel like, or maybe we're uncomfortable with it. And maybe someone who is unavailable is all the intimacy we can handle. Maybe we don't even know what real intimacy is like. And I mean, I don't know. I, I have someone in my family who would always get played by women, but he set himself up for it. He would always go for these women that look like models and a lot of those women are just bitchy i'm sorry don't go for a 10. you're you're 99 chance she's going to be bitchy she hasn't had to develop her personality so he would go for these model types and then in order to impress them he would take them shopping for furniture or expensive dinners at nice restaurants in new york and um and then he would complain to me that these women wouldn't ever cook for him or they would always want to go out and always spend his money and i'm like why do you go for these very skinny model type women and why are you spending so much money on them like why are you groveling and fawning like you have to you know guys and women too in order to not be used for sex women have to have the mindset I'm worthy of being with without the sex. I'm worthy of just, I am interesting enough and funny enough uh, that people can, enjoy, men can enjoy my company even when I'm not fucking them. And I think a man has to get to that same point internally that I'm valuable enough, I'm interesting enough that I don't have to, a woman will enjoy my company even if I'm not paying for a thing or listening to her problems. She's just going to enjoy my company. And I'll tell you what, um, if a guy is really interesting, uh, I don't really need him to buy me anything except a coffee because I'm like, I'm just, so, I'm just so happy I get to be in the company of this interesting man. 
who's confident in himself. I think we all have to get to that point where we're like, our company is sufficient. We don't have to use our money or our bodies to get people to want to be with us. So that's the inner work. But I would like to know what you think. This video is for the guys. Ladies, let's drop some tips for the guys on what are the red flags they should look for so they don't get used by a woman to um, get dumped on for where women dump on them for their problems or just use them for trips or dinners or gifts you know and the guy has no idea he thinks it's going somewhere we see it we're like wake up but the guy has no clue what are the things the guy should look for let's help the guys out on this one ladies and thank you for watching my video